When I was in my second year of MBA at IIM Udaipur, one night I thought that okay, I should learn R, R as in the language used for marketing analytics. I went online and purchased a very comprehensive course. And over the next three weeks, I spent day and night in completing that course. I watched a video after video after video, and within two and a half to three weeks, I completed it. After completing the course, I was very happy, and I thought that okay, now I should start to solve some problems with R. and i sat down to code soon after that i realized that okay i have probably forgotten how to start the code i could not write the first line i went back and checked and okay then i found out that okay how to write the first line of the code but after that i realized that i don't even know how to write the second line or the third line or the fourth line of the code basically after spending 3 weeks day and night of completing a course I did not know how to write an R program and here in this video what I'll be sharing with you is that if you are an MBA student an MBA aspirant or any other student how do you exactly learn skills which will help you not just in your placements but in your entire life hi i am darpan saxena an mba from iim udaipur and let's get on with the video So I just now shared with you my experience of what happened when I planned to learn a skill. I spent a lot of my days and weeks on it and what happened after that. I had not really acquired that skill. I had not really learned a thing. But at the end of it I surely had a certificate which I could put on my resume. And I'm sure a lot of you students would actually feel what I had just explained that while you have the certificates and you have things to prove that you have learned the skill the question is that have you really learned the skill the answer is no and after 2 to 1 and a half years of that experience where I was in your spot I have been able to create three steps of my own wherein If you follow those three steps you will be able to not only learn a skill for your placements but also that skill will remain with you for life and if you really want it to happen if you really want that whatever you learn it should stay with you for a long time so that it can also improve the outcomes at your workplace then this video is for you also if you stay up till the end of the video i will share with you one additional step the fourth step or in fact it's not the fourth step it is the zeroth step that is probably the first step which you need to take when you are planning for the next three things which i will inform you so that is the first thing which i will share with you in the last and you'll realize that that is probably the most important thing and what you had not been using is that one thing so without confusing you further i'll just explain you that what as per me are those three or four steps which you need to take in order to learn a skill for your mba placements or for your placements so that it will not only help you in your placements but mind you it will improve each and every day of your work life it will give you the freedom to really do what you want to do because using those skills you can create a lot of things you will be able to become a creator now just so that we are on the same page i create a lot of videos for mba students who are interested in marketing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and you will find a lot of value in there the first step of learning a skill or of acquiring a skill is obviously that you need to go ahead and learn the skill you need to learn the basic concepts of it for that i would always advise you to go for a course while some of you may ask me that okay why do we have to go for a paid course why can't we just go online and probably search on the youtube and find something for free well i have a two point answer to that that why do i always advise that you should start to learn always from a paid course the reason number one is that when you go for a course you get the structured knowledge of what you need to learn whereas when you're surfing on the youtube you have to find your own path you have to find your own flow which is not the case with a course and if the course which you have purchased is a good one then you, with that course you'll find a community support which means a lot of similar students who have enrolled for that course you will also have the access to speak with them hence that is very important that when you are enrolling for a course not only you should see that if it has the right structure you should also see that if there is a community aspect to it and the second reason why you should always go for a paid course is because i want you to pay for a course the reason is simple because when you pay you pay attention 
and whenever there is a value exchange only then you will be able to learn otherwise you will never learn you will never take that knowledge seriously therefore if you're serious about the skills you want to acquire you need to go ahead and you need to pay for the course you are enrolling for and also if you go through my youtube channel or go through my blog super heuristics what you'll realize is that to any mba student who's interested in marketing i always advise them to pick up two skills and both of these skills are what i call digital skills because that is what is important so the two skills which i always advise you as a mba student interested in marketing are digital marketing and marketing analytics these are the two skills which all mba students interested in the subject should have now one very important thing which you need to keep in mind as to how to choose a course is that whenever you are selecting a course and it is especially for mba students for mba students you need to make sure that your course not only covers the tactics but also covers the strategy and the principles part of that skill so for example if you go to a place like udemy and if you want to learn the skill of facebook ads you will find that a lot of courses around the web they will teach you the tactics of facebook ads which means they will teach you that how do you go ahead and actually run the ads while it is very important for you to be hands on but especially if you're an mba wherein you will be creating the strategies and you may or may not be very hands on with the skill you need to pick a course which also speaks about how do you plan a facebook ad how do you think it from the angle of a strategy creator that what should be my facebook ad and how should i plan the entire campaign that high level understanding also you need to have it is very important for you to have so please check that whenever you are going for a course whether it is talking about the strategy angle of it or not for all the mba students out there i am currently creating my own comprehensive course which will help you understand how to learn the basics of marketing and not only that it will also help you understand how to learn cases and how to acquire these digital skills so if by the time you are watching this video if the course is already out you will find the link to it in the description do go and check it out now after you have purchased the right paid course and you've started to learn from it what is the second step which you have to take and that second step you need to start off you need to activate that step right away when you start to learn and that second step is that you need to implement those skills on a project now i will go back to my example when i had picked that course on r it had a lot of exercises using some toy examples within that course but you know what i did i skipped all of those toy examples when i was going through the course because in my head i had the perception that okay first i should complete all of the videos first i should complete all of the learning part of it and then i'll start to solve the assignments from the first assignment that is wrong if your course has got assignments after every video if it has got quizzes which you need to solve please do not skip them you need to attempt all of them right from the starting because otherwise the same thing will happen with you which happened with me that i completely forgot the entire skill so if you have assignments within the course you must solve all of them apart from that i would also advise you to go ahead and take up live projects wherein you will get the chance to apply these skills on a real world problem you don't want to end up in a situation where you've completed the course you've got the certificate and you have forgotten everything because in that case while that certificate will sit comfortably on your shelf you would have heard everything from one year and everything would have gone out from the other year and that certificate will only improve your self esteem and not your self esteem and from there quickly i would move to the third point because that third point is connected to this point and in fact it is an accentuation it is a improvement in this point what is that third point that third point is something which no student would do or very few student would even have a thought about it but if you are able to do this third step mind you you will never forget that skill in your life forget your work experience i am saying even after your work experience when you are 60 you'll never forget that skill what is that third step why is it so unique that third step is something which i also followed for every other skill after that r skill i had learned that third step is go ahead and 
monetize your skill which means start to think about how can i earn using the skill which i have learned start to sell your skill by taking up projects so that you can earn because again as i had explained in the first point whenever somebody pays you that is an exchange of value and when somebody would pay you for a project when you have the capability to get paid for a project that would really speak for itself you will not have to do anything else i mean just imagine at the end of the day if suppose your aim is to have a placement if you walk into an interview room what would create far more impact would it be when you say that yes i have done a course on google adwords which a lot of students they do or when you go and say that you know what in the last one year i made 50000 rupees using my google ad skills what is more impactful think it from an mba aspect whenever you are attaching a monetary value to anything that makes it important and hence this third step is a secret i've just now shared with you a secret because i was probably only one of them among a lot of my friends who were able to achieve this how exactly So in the first year of my MBA at I am Udaipur I started my blog because I was frustrated I thought that okay I have a lot of gyan and I need to share it so I started my blog but then when I started it I also started to improve on my skill of SEO which is search engine optimization from there I started to improve on my skills of uh, Facebook ads and email marketing you would realize now that when I was learning all of these skills I was continuously applying it on my blog which was my step number 2 which was a project and eventually after 1 year 1 one, one and a half years I made my first income from that blog it was a very small amount but it was a proof of concept that somebody had walked into my blog using the google search and somebody had paid and it's not just about the blog i also went on to pick a lot of consulting assignments from india and worldwide and till date i do all of that i felt good not because i had earned but because i was able to learn a skill and i was able to quickly put that skill to use and i knew that after having created a blog which had started to do very well across all the iims it was starting to pick up well and along with that all of these assignments and projects which i had started to do it was going to make a very big impact not only on my resume but also on my career and it did because when my final placements had not even started thanks to my blog and all of these assignments which i had involved myself in i had three job offers from off campus even when my placements had not started so it does make an impact to everything you do it will make a serious impact on your outcomes so i know i'm very sure about this thing that from these three steps you would have understood what exactly you need to do and it would have been an aha moment for you you would have felt confident about acquiring a skill and i'm very sure that now whenever you approach a new skill you would have a different understanding of it because you will use these three steps but at the starting of the video i had shared with you that i will also talk about a fourth step which is not actually a fourth step it is the zeroth step it is the first step which you need to take even when these three steps have not started even when you have not enrolled for a paid course that is the first step which you have to do and that zeroth step is this that you need to visualize you need to develop an exercise of visualizing that why do you want to learn that skill what is your goal with that skill and why is learning that skill so important to you you need to attach an emotion with that skill and you should be able to clearly see that okay if i am able to learn this skill then this 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 these things will happen with me because if that goal clarity is not there what will happen is this thing that like any other student you would be chasing a lot of skills in various different directions so for example if on one weekend your place come announces that okay we are having a workshop for excel you would jump if suppose another weekend your place come announces that okay we are having a workshop for power bi you would be excited and you would go there if on the third weekend somebody informs you that okay we are having a workshop for salsa dance maybe you would be excited about that as well and you would spend your time on it but the outcome always is that when you have not planned that why exactly you are acquiring a skill you have not attached any 
value to it then you would spend the time in attending that workshop but soon after it you'll forget it and i'm sure a lot of you would have already experienced it so avoid doing all of that right at the start attach a value to that think about it that how exactly will that help you in your work do not attach a goal to it that okay i want such a such placement think about that okay after i have acquired that placement after i have backed that placement how exactly will this skill help me so for example if you are somebody who's interested in consulting sure you can say that okay if i learn the skill of how to use excel that would significantly impact my daily activities and probably i would not spend as much time on my projects and on my work as other analysts or consultants would because they aren't that sharp with excel so you need to do this visualization exercise that how will acquiring that skill improve your life and once you have visualized it once you are convinced that yes this is the skill which you will commit to and then from there if you do these three steps i can guarantee you i can say you know i am saying it from my experience that that skill will stay with you for life and that skill can also help you become independent you can earn from that skill and you can live a life of a king or a queen so having said all of that i am sure that you are excited about learning the new skill which you have to please go down and comment that what new skill are you acquiring and how will these three and four steps help you in acquiring that skill see you in the next video thank you so much